Hi everybody. I am Jason. That is Brett. There's Brett walking in his door there carrying a big old green apple for lunch. And in this episode of Brett's Brick Builds, we've got the set number 60323 stunt plane. And uh, picked this one up today at the store and uh, thought it'd be a nice, fun, quick little build. Brett says, what are we waiting for? Let's go ahead and get at it. Got the standard thumb tab opening. As always, try to preserve the box as best we can within reason. A lot of glue on this one. One main bag of parts, one smaller bag of other accoutrement, empty box, and one set of instructions. So, what we'll do, go ahead and pop the smaller bag open first, get these parts rolled out. And as always, check the bag for the standard hidden Lego piece. So we got that bag emptied out. And we've got our second bag. Check for Lego. The reason Brett and I always check for Lego is most assuredly at some point in your Lego building career, you will be searching all over the place for a missing part only to find that it stayed in the bag after you dumped it out. Just saves yourself a lot of time. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get into the instructions here. Oops. Kind of standard first operation is to build the minifig. Come in here. Flight jacket kind of deal on. Some gray gloves happening. There's his head. He's got kind of the chin or beard face. Just a touch of a smirk there. Because he's a pretty slick dude. Get him his flight helmet. his flight goggles Oops, there we go I'm trying to see if they were upside down or not there's a little notch for the nose there so I'm assuming that's going to be the down and we have assumed correctly there he is with his helmet go ahead and get him sat down you can watch the rest of the assembly of his flight aircraft Brett says anytime you can sit back while somebody builds an airplane for you is a good day. True, Brett, true. First piece, bottom of the fuselage. We've got two by two flat. There we are. Take that, pop that in there. Then we got a two by two with a centering. Centering nub on it. And as always, if you've watched my channel before, or Brett's channel actually, I'm employed by Brett. Brett's giving me that look there like you know who the boss is here, guy. Is uh, my superpower is not knowing nearly hardly any of the proper parts of any of these names, of these uh, Lego pieces. So bear with me, and if you feel like it in the comments, go ahead and correct what the pieces should properly be called. Got the 2x2 two two reverse wing angular piece, which I'm sure is not the proper name for that part. Pop that in there. We got one time here with the, I'm assuming is gonna be the uh, control stick. 
particular if it's that center up. Get that pretty much vertical in the instructions. Got a two by eight, then a two to four angle piece going in the center there. And we are going to go get that pressed on a little better. We're going to the bottom of the front of the fuselage assembly that we had set up before. And then we have the rear section of the fuselage. It's got a kind of a gondola shape happening right here, but I got faith in the Lego. I got faith they're taking us places. Couple of one by twos. And then the wings. bigger than it looked on the box and size ratio but okay with that front upper fuselage piece in powder blue rear of the two by two into the angle piece Again, not the right name for that part. Now the three by three, uh, three by two lime green block. What you think of that, Brett? You think that's what it is, man? They just use like a stock color that they've got a lot of to put on the interior of the build. Three by two by that's about a 30 degree angle block going into there and then we've got the control panel slash gauge panel there we are so it's got your altimeter or your fuel reading and whatnot on there Two ninety degree one by four angle pieces going on either side here. Got a standard of the powder blue two by four block across the rear. Rear upper fuselage part. One by two with the bumper. Got a cover over where you, for the most part, you can't see that green block anymore. Wow, it's like we got the engine sub assembly. Let's go ahead and set the rest of the plane over there while we do this little sub step. Pull our pieces here, one of these. And piece of flame, piece of the dark gray grill. I've never seen this piece before. Centered two by two out of the side of a one by two block 
with a hole for a technique pen in it. Got a one by two. And a pin piece. First thing we got, these instructions there. I'll just set this down here. I'm gonna go to the top of that. And we're gonna go with the darker gray grill piece on top there. We're gonna to go to four, step four, and put the technique pen in there. Then we are going to go, it's only one way we really can go to get this to go on the pin, which is this way. Then we are going to put the exhaust slash jet flame on center coming out the rear. And you can turn that if you want to. The illusion of flying. And we will mount that in place here on the rear. Another double assembly here. We got the two top hinge pieces. And we got the two dark gray lower hinge pieces. We're going to put them together as shown two times. are going to go opposite each other in front of the motor or the engine, the jet engine in the rear. Got two two by three plates. We're going to go here to enclose that fully. I know Brett will be happy that we've got that green book all covered up now. It's gone, Brett. Another one by two gray. One by two with the hinge on it. First one by two is going there. Second one by two is going to go right here. Next step. And go with the second one by two with the open hinge piece. Then we've got a two by two flat again in the powder blue going there. About three quarters of the way through. A couple of one by two by four. It looks to be uh, 30 degree. Flat blocks. Couple of one by one angle flat blocks in the clear smoke. On there. The fuselage cover. It's going to pop on right here. Got a green one by one round flat top and a red one by one round flat top. On each end of the wing for the directional markers on the lighting system. Oh, we're flipping her over. And we're going to have a rear axle for two wheels. And then we've got the front fork type setup for the front wheel. Front wheel coming pre-assembled. We'll go ahead and mount that on there. Rear wheels. Go ahead and get them put on. The slicks, really thin, slick wheel tires. 
going on to the wheels. These appear to be ambidextrous. These can go on either way. Put this back over. We're going to take the two hinge pieces we put up earlier, put on earlier, mount them off to the side, the end of their hinge, and then we're going to go ahead and put the two rear wing, uh, rear tail stabilizers on. See that, Brett? Already put on there, so we don't have to deal with stickers. Brett and I are not. Uh, Particularly big fans of the builds with a lot of stickers on them. And there we have it. We have the double rear wing, little stunt plane, little hummingbird on the wing there. I mean the double rear tail. I'm assuming this plane is called the Hummingbird. Get pilot in there. What did I do, Brett? What do I always do with the arms? Exactly. Had them down too low. Getting. That's right. Just like you standing there, I had the arms down way too low again this time. There he is positioned in there. Get the canopy shut. And there he is, ready to go. So what'd you think of that build, Brett? I know, man. It's like you always tell me. Gotta keep the arms up high. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> so that was a nice quick little build. Lego City kit number 60323, a.k.a. the Stunt Plane. And that wasn't, wasn't too bad. Listed as a 59-piece kit. Has some interesting pieces in it, a couple I haven't seen before. Yeah, that was, a, that was a pretty fun, simple build. Uh, although, don't think just because you got those aviators on there, mister, you're taking this thing up. So that'll be our build for this episode. If you like what you see, it's YouTube. You know how the buttons and knobs and whatnot work. Go ahead and check back with us again. We try to put up at least two videos a week on Tuesday and Thursday, sometimes more. Sometimes we do older builds. This week was a newer build. And that's about all we got for you. I am Jason. That is Brett. Brett says bye to everybody. And we'll see you next time. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Goodbye. <laughs>